Hey, it's Professor B. I am here to just kind of give you a quick run through on how you can access our lecture hall and the office hours for class. Uh, even though this has now become a remote course, uh, we are teaching the course remotely, it does not mean that we are not meeting. So we will still be meeting every Monday and Wednesday. We're just going to be doing it in a virtual lecture hall instead of face to face. So I just want to go over our home page real quick and show you where a few things are. Uh, here in the announcements, I do have an announcement up for you with some links to both the office hours and to our new lecture hall. You can access the lecture hall that way. I'll show you what that looks like. So you just click on new awesome lecture hall and that will take you directly to the Blackboard Collaborate platform. It does open in a new window, so you want to be aware of that. When you log into this session, before you join in, you're going to have to type your name. Um, it'll put your first name there, and I need you to add your second name so I know who everybody is, and this will also record your attendance to the lecture. Once you have your name typed in, click Join Session, and you will now join into the session. Inside of the Collaborate room that we're in, we're going to be using a few tools. So I want to show you what those look like. In the bottom right-hand corner of your screen is a tab. It's called the Collaborate panel. You open that up and you will have access to a chat room. You'll have access to who else is in the room. You'll have access to a couple of tools. And over here are your settings. I would really like it if everybody could add a picture to their settings so I can see you uh, if we're unable to use video. We may find that the video is um, tying up the bandwidth, so we may have to turn video off, but I still like to be able to see everyone's faces if we could. So to change your picture, you come all the way up here and you can edit your picture here select a new picture from any of your files, drag them into this little box and drop, and then your photo, it'll give you a way to edit and center it, and your photo will be available um, so we can all see you. In the chat room <clears throat> over here, you just simply type whatever it is that you wanna say, hello, and uh, your name will show and what you're typing will show. If we are in the middle of lecturing, I will be sharing PowerPoints and other files with you in the lecture hall and lecturing on them. You'll have a few tools available to you at that time as well. Uh, down here at the bottom of your screen, you can see your status and settings. Open this up and you can tell me that you had to step away for a few minutes, maybe a restroom or grab a snack. Um, you can also agree. I may say, hey, how many people agree with this? You click on agree and at the bottom you'll see your little green button here and in the roster I'll be able to see, you can see here on the right, I'll be able to see how many people agree or disagree. You can also give me a status, maybe you're happy about something or maybe you are mad or sad. If you're confused, that's a good one to put there and that will tell me, hey, I'm not understanding that. And that's a way to kind of signal to me that you don't understand something or you'd like it repeated without having to interrupt the lecture. I will do my best to keep track of those. If you have a particular question or you wanna answer something, you can always raise your hand. Um, we're probably going to keep our microphones off for a while. I will mute everyone's. You'll be able to turn it back on. You just do that by clicking on it and it will turn green. Um, and then when you're done speaking, if you would turn your microphone off. This way we don't get a lot of background noise because we're gonna have several microphones on at the same time. And this will make everything run more smoothly and everybody will be able to hear. Uh, when you have a question, just raise your hand. And when you're done asking your question, you can lower it or I will lower it for you. <clears throat> If we are going to be sharing video, maybe at the beginning of class, we'll have our video going so we can all say hi and just kind of see a familiar face. Uh, you just click on the video button. It will give you a preview. You share your video. I have a cover on my camera right now, but you can share the video and then um, we'll be able to see everyone. <clears throat> The other tool you're going to have is uh, sometimes um, 
I will be sharing content with you. I'm in here as a presenter, so you aren't necessarily able to see anything right now, but when I share something with you, uh, you will have access to some drawing tools. They will be over here, <clears throat> excuse me, in the left-hand corner. You'll be able to label, draw, write, put a text box or some shapes, those sorts of things, either on our PowerPoint if I ask you to, or on a whiteboard if we're trying to review something. So those are some tools that you will have available to you while in Blackboard and during a presentation. There may be times that we break out into groups. We can do that in Blackboard and do some small group work. You may be asked to uh, go and research something as a group and then present that information here in Blackboard. Another um, key factor to success in Blackboard is you have to use the Chrome browser. I know for Safari users, that's kind of um, that's a little hard pill to swallow because we are such we are such Safari um, uh, fans. But <clears throat> Blackboard Collaborate works best with Chrome, so make sure that you have the latest version of the Chrome browser installed. You'll have the best connectivity and the best experience using Chrome. So make sure that you use Chrome. When you are done and you want to leave the session, you can just close the window or you can click on your status here and click leave session. Give them a pretty good rating. Blackboard's been excellent this year. And submit and exit. Once you've exited the room, you can close that window and you're back to our home page. Over here on the right, I have some post-COVID-19 information. So that just kind of means uh, that we're in the middle of it. Uh, right now, what I have is another link to the virtual lecture hall, and this will also take you to our office hours. And I want to show you what this window looks like. So we open up, what we're really opening up here is the Blackboard Collaborate session room. So this is where the different sessions are. And down here, we have our lecture hall. You can enter this way. If you enter the lecture hall this way, you just click lecture hall and then join session. You can see that takes us directly to our lecture hall. Going to close that. And then if you want to attend office hours, you can just simply click on my office hours, join session. And during office hours, I'll have this room open. I will be available in there. You just maybe need to raise your hand, give me some kind of um, clue that you're, you're in the room so that I hear you enter. And that way, if you have questions, I can help you with questions. I can share things like exams and those sorts of things, but if we're going to do that, we may need to have a private room. Let me know if it's something uh, that you wanna do and we can set that up on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I'm going to exit out of this room. Excellent. And then close my window. I will also be adding with you as we um, go along. I will be adding some new, um, a few new assignments to help guide you through some of this material since we won't be meeting face to face. But we've done a lot of online work in this course already, so I believe that you'll be uh, pretty comfortable with the format that we're going to follow. I just wanted to make sure that you knew where some of the newer materials were and what was um, happening in here. Now in our lectures, our lectures will be recorded because I know that some of you are working in the hospitals and you're kind of working some crazy shifts. So, our lectures will be recorded, but the recording will not be available until after the lecture has occurred. It will be a recording of the actual virtual lecture hall itself, so it, it will include everyone's questions, kind of like as if we had filmed the classroom. Uh, and the lectures will be available in the units that we're studying. So just like in the Unit 4 Immunology, we had recorded lectures and you were able to see the one on adaptive. There'll be one down here on with a date. So I will put um, the title of the lecture, what we lectured on, and the date that that lecture was given so that you can uh, go and watch that lecture. I do want to let you know that recorded lectures, once your unit exam opens up, recorded lectures will not be available while the exams are open. So if you want to review a recorded lecture, you need to do that before the exam opens. Lectures will be closed when the exams open. Going back to our course homepage, 
Don't forget to read the announcement. There'll be some new uh, due dates and a few other things. I will have a, a uh, syllabus amendment up in our post-COVID uh, uh, module here in the next day or so, and that will give you an idea of some of the new due dates and assignments and some things that will be happening in the next couple weeks. Don't worry, we will get through this. We really only have two exams left, and uh, you are already taking online exams. The exams are not going to change very much. I just wanted to let you know and kind of reassure you that we are going to be moving through the rest of the material, and we will make it happen. You will, uh, you will leave this class successful. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me, or I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Have a good night.